want to tell you all about this stuff called kombucha. This stuff right here, I bought at a discount grocery store. Um, I think it was about 12 bottles in a box. And I got it for a real cheap price, like $2 a box. <laughs> I was buying those things left and right. And I bought so many of them. <clears throat> and I couldn't, re I couldn't put them in the refrigerator. So I had to like leave it on the stairway. And um, the alcohol content, it, content in it um, kept rising. But, you know, not a whole lot. Well, anyway... Um, I went to the doctor a long time ago, and he told me that I didn't have any um, cartilage in my knee anymore, because my knee had swelled up, and I had to get um, a shot to drain the fluid out, and then they had to give me a cortisone shot, you know, that same day. So anyway, um, I haven't had any, you know, problems with swelling anymore, because I stayed going to the gym, but, you know, my knee would stay, um, you know, and it would hurt all the time. So anyway... I started taking that kombucha, started drinking that stuff, like two or three bottles a day because I was trying to get rid of it because it wasn't refrigerated. I had so many in the refrigerator and then the ones sitting on the stairway, the boxes, I had to just keep drinking them. And recently, you know, after doing all of that, I found out that I could go up the steps without any problem. And I don't have that same problem that I was having with my knee. <clears throat> I think that that stuff maybe have um, replaced the collagen with whatever it is or rebuilt the collagen. But I don't have that problem with my knee anymore. And I mean, my knee was like in pain. Anyway, this stuff is called kombucha. Um, I looked into it to see how can you make it. And you take, I think, black tea, or green tea and black tea, and then you um, boil it, and they said you're supposed to add sugar to it, um, you know, after you finish boiling it, or whatever. Um, the sugar, once it starts fermenting, starts turning into like this big blobby stuff called a SCOBY, S-C-O-B-Y, and it eats up the sugar, and then it, those things eat up the sugar. It's probiotics. That's why it's probiotics. Because I was looking that up yesterday about, is that the same thing as probiotics? And it's got probiotics in it. So that stuff is like amazing. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to make kombucha. And um, you can put it in those... Um, cannon jars or well don't listen to me um, listen to other people and how they make it and make sure you watch more than two videos on how to make it there's this blobby stuff called scoby that you can make from it and you know I'm thinking it's mold but looking under um, Google images it says it's not uh, mold but what else can it be right and those many thousands of, um, I don't even know how to pronounce the word, those enzyme things or whatever they are, probiotic things, um, that's going into your body. It's like a bacteria or something like that. But anyway, that stuff is amazing. That kombucha stuff does work. I went back to the discount grocery store and they had, um, which one is this right here? Oh. They had the Kavita kombucha uh, with the ginger in it but the one that I got was the first picture that was on there that was green and it tastes like feet not that I know what feet taste like but that taste and smell <laughs> it's like nasty but when it tastes nasty like that it, it